Vernacular architecture. Architecture style based on local needs, availability of construction materials and reflecting local traditions, like Local environment Climate Culture Natural materials And local construction technology Let's see some more detailed explanation and example about vernacular architecture Before jump into video please subscribe and follow us on Instagram Local environment and climate. In Kerala, village houses are slope roofed with mangalar tiles and thatched to draw of channel rain. In Assam, the same houses are often built on stilts, the better to counter the often damp ground. In Punjab, whitewash on the outside walls helps to cool down the summer heat. In Tamil Nadu, walls are made of 1.5 feet to 3 feet to reduce the summer heat. Culture. In Kerala, Nalyakedu traditional planning method was preserved by Thatchans or trained architect painters. Aikashala, single unit. Duasala, extra addition of room. Thirasala, due to needs. And Nalyakedu. In Tamil Nadu, separate spaces for men and women were provided. Thin eye in front of the house was mainly used by male members later, which itself was enclosed for privacy. Using of courtyard as multi-purpose space. Using different columns at different spaces. Natural materials. In Goa and Karnataka, red laterite stone. In North India, sunburnt bricks. In Northeast, bamboo construction. In South India, mangler tiles. In Rajasthan, mud. In Kerala, wood. In Tamil Nadu, thatch. In Himachal Pradesh, stone. In Changor, bamboo. In South Region, Karakuti, the walls are plastered over by a secret recipe of roots, yolk and lime that leaves them silken smooth and washable. In Kerala, the flooring was that beaten earth polished with cow dung at regular intervals. Smoothness was achieved by polishing the floor with particular variety of banana. Construction Technology most of the labors used were non-skilled labors who acknowledge their works or knowledge only through by seeing some other works. Like thatching of roofs in Tamil Nadu. Woodworks was done by skilled labors as carpenters, whereas mostly wood were their structural members. For walls, wattle and daub and cob wall were also used with the help of locally available labors in south region of India. Thanks for watching this video. If you like please subscribe and follow us on Instagram.